welcome to your practice. Today I'm going to do a coffee cup flow after some requests of some short sequences to lift a little bit of energy in a short amount of time. So let's, we're going to get right into it and start at the top of the mat. Separate your feet a little bit wider than you normally would. Bend the knees and feel, really feel into the earth. So sturdy footed. Spread the toes, lay them back down, maybe lift the heels and lay them back down. And let's just get into the body. So whatever's happening, whatever has happened today already, or whatever hasn't happened today already, let's just put it to the side. Imagine you could like put it on a little shelf and get into our bodies right now for this, you know, the short practice. Just stay here, stay with it. Be in your body, be in your life. Let's do some heel drops to begin. And this helps to just land. Yeah. So inhale, lift the heels, come up onto the toes and then exhale, just drop them. So you'll feel yourself jiggle a little bit, your booty, your booty wiggle, lift up and then just drop it down. Maybe add a, a little bit of that. So you're not pressing down, you're just letting them land. Maybe flick the fingers as you do it. You could release making space, three more, maybe pushing out the mouth. And a little wiggle in the body, full body wiggle. Rolling the shoulders back. And then taking the hands, taking little fists of the hands, and we're just gonna turn side to side. So the hands might wrap and kind of hit the kidney line. And every time you hit, just helping us orient in the body, helping us get in our life, get in our body, in the moment. All right, find stillness and see after just those three little things there, if it feels a little bit different, if you feel a little bit more centered, soft bend in the knees, press down through the feet as the arms lift up and then exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale, fold it down. Put the weight into the right leg and as you inhale, lift one leg mountain, pull left knee into the chest. Full round of breath here. Right hand to the left knee and let's take a twist. Push the knee back into the hand. So you have a little bit of a, uh, some proprioception there. And then inhale, come back to center. Exhale, knee over the ankle or ankle over the knee, that makes more sense, and take a seat. Seated figure four. Press the booty back, press the shin into the thigh and pull the belly towards the spine as the heart lifts. Those are just little micro adjustments, not right or wrong, just some opportunities to explore. And then inhale back to center again. Any wobbles, welcome. And exhale, airplane. Stand the bending leg, bend the standing leg. My words are going backwards today. Pull back on the right hip crease and lift through the arm bones. Hands gently come down to the ground, big step back, back of the mat. Back heel plants, bend both legs, and then press down through the feet to lift and open up into warrior two. We're gonna move with breath here. Inhale, lengthen the front leg, lift the arms, and exhale, sink down. Twice more like this. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale down. Once more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, down, stay with the legs where they are, and then reach up and back, reverse warrior, and exhale, wave down, downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale, wave forward plank pose, and then your choice here. You can come all the way down to the belly, you can drop the knees down, or take chaturanga, knees up, knee down. And then higher low cobra, or maybe upward facing dog, you choose. Open the heart and then downward facing dog. There's lots of variations there, so move like you. I'm having some low back issues, so up dog not in my practice right now. Listen to your body, it changes day to day, so stay curious. 
Gaze towards your hands, lift the heels. Bend the knees and sit back in the hips like you're gonna pounce. And then take a step or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold forward. All right, weight into the left foot. Inhale, rise up. Right knee comes with you. And then exhale, take a twist to the left. Outside of the leg, pressing into the hand and vice versa. And then inhale, center, arms float up, kind of suction through the palms. And then exhale, ankle over knee, figure four, chair pose. See if you can sit the hips back, so that often will send the heart forward, but can you also lift the heart? I like to bring the thumbs to the heart center and kind of lift up at the thumbs to encourage that opening. And then inhale, one leg mountain, lift the leg up, and exhale, airplane. So maybe left glute getting a little fiery. When you bend the standing leg, pull back on the left hip crease and lift the arm bones and the right inner thigh. Slowly the hands drip down, big step back to the back of the mat. Plant the back heel down, bend both knees, find sturdiness in the feet, and then open up warrior two. Find your pose, press down firmly through both feet and energetically pull towards midline energizing the inside inseams of the legs. We move with breath, inhale, reach up, and exhale, warrior two, twice more. Sink deep, reverse warrior. Big side body opening. And then wave the hands down, downward facing dog. Your choice of vinyasa here, chaturanga, come all the way down to the ground. You can just bring the knees down and take a cow and a cat pose. That actually stays with the same breath pattern as well if you do that and we all meet downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees, sit the hips back, and then pounce forward, big jump or step up. Inhale, halfway lift and fold down. Soft bend in the knees, rise all the way up. Left leg comes, one leg mountain. Exhale, take a twist to the left. Full round of breath. Inhale, center, one leg mountain. And exhale, chair, figure four. One more inhale. Full out breath. Inhale, one leg mountain. And exhale, airplane. Full round of breath. And exhale, big step back. Maybe leave the arms up. Big step back, back heel plants, windmill open, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, and exhale, extended side angle. So arm comes inside the leg. Let's try this so we get a little fire. Inside the leg, maybe open it up here, press arm into the leg, leg back into arm, and then the left arm reaches up or up and over, your choice. Can you still reach through the back foot? Pull back on the right hip crease, outer spiral with the front thigh. One more inhale. And exhale, left hand comes down, side plank. So your choice, traditional side plank on the edges of the feet or unstack the arm, put both feet onto the ground. Send the booty back, heart forward, so you're arcing cactus the top arm. So another option here. Wherever you are, right knee comes towards the right elbow. And we're going to gaze forward and then a big step up, right foot top of the mat, back heel plants, open up warrior two, reverse warrior. And exhale, come forward, half moon pose. Pour forward, lift up, not staying long, but staying strongly. 
and then exhale, heart shines down, left hand plants, left foot meets the right, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold it out. Soft bend in the knees, we round, come up, right knee to the chest. One more side, building energy, staying with the breath, staying in the body. Take a twist to the right. Full round of breath. Heart pulling forward. Inhale, center. Exhale, chair pose, figure four. Can the hips go back and the heart lifts? Can you bend down and open? Inhale, lift, one leg mountain. And exhale, airplane. Heart comes forward as the leg comes back. Counterbalance here. See if you can lift a little bit more, lift through the inner thigh, lift through the arm bones, and then slow step back, maybe no hands, back heel plants, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, and exhale, extended side angle, come on the inside of the leg, and find that equal opposition, strong opposition, arm into leg, leg back into arm, and continue to press through the back foot, maybe even bend the back leg just slightly so that you can really get the footprint down. Pull back on the left hip crease, steady breath. Can you breathe in spite of steadiness? Breathe in spite of the challenge, the shake. Lean back into the shoulders just slightly on an inhale. And then exhale, right hand plants. Vashistasana, side plank. Unstacked, archy side plank. I need to come up with a good name for this. Or stacked side plank. And then inhale, wherever you are, left knee comes up. Maybe you take a hand to it if that's helpful. Or just knee towards the elbow, cactus the arm. Gaze forward. You're gonna reach forward, step forward. You can also take your hand and guide your leg forward, back heel plants, open up, warrior two, reverse warrior, one breath, and exhale, shift forward, half moon, your choice, your variation, one more inhale, Exhale, heart spirals down, right hand plants, right foot plants, forward fold. Three rounds of breath, waving the spine. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Twice more. Audible out breath, let go. Once more. Bend the knees, press through the feet as you round up. Slow, find the vibration again. Rolling the shoulders back, bringing feet wide. A good five second shake, vibration, big or small. Maybe the heel drops again, see what feels good in your body. A few more moments. come to stillness and just take the hands bend the arms take the hands out and open hasta mudra so open palm here for it here for life knowing that it is just as messy as it is beautiful as joyous as it is full of challenge letting our practice help us show up for life as it is the way it is, show up for ourselves as we are the way we are. Being here for it. Thank yourself for showing up to your practice. Place your hands on your body. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then hands together, thumbs of the third eye in thanks and gratitude. Suksama. A little bow forward. Mm. I hope you found benefit from this class. Short, sweet, potent. Yeah, beautiful. 
All right, I will see you on your mat or somewhere in the world. I look forward to it. Ciao. If you're enjoying these classes, then I want to invite you to my membership service, CCY Studio. This is where we get to explore with longer classes, full length classes, and we get to investigate not only more into the physical body and longer shavasanas, but also yogic and Buddhist philosophy and more time to marinate and percolate with all of it. Also just putting up a new asana library. And this has about 10 of the core poses and really intricate ways and investigations to put it not only in your body, but also some teaching tips. So if you're a teacher, this is really valuable as well. So if you're interested, you get a 14 day free trial. You can cancel at any time. And I just encourage you to check it out. I think that it's a beautiful place to go a little bit deeper. So I hope to see you over there. You can find more details in the links below.